Hello bread lovers and how are we doing today? As you read in the title of this video, I'll be talking about how to promote weapons and characters. A lot of players didn't fully understand this as I know there is quite a little bit of confusion with these. And I'm so sorry for the poor souls that did this. Ooh. Let's not do that again, okay? So stick around and find out how to promote characters and weapons. So we're finally able to promote characters and weapons now and moving on to some crazy strong characters and strong but fun content coming out in the future, such as the Devil Don Maze. Think of this as like raid content, which is actually pretty cool, where you go in and you fight very challenging bosses for materials, which requires a strong team with six star gear to be super effective. I'll talk about this in the future, how to clear it as well. So make sure you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button as well for that bread. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Wow. Now, let's talk about promoting characters and weapons. Now, first off, you need to know how to get to this point here, where you're either able to promote a weapon and character first, and they are, for a weapon, you need to recast and upgrade the weapon to level 16, reads ev Evolution 20, and fully awaken the weapon. Well, characters need to reach max level, which is 80, reach Evolution 20, and fully awaken the character. If you don't have any of these completed, you can't promote that character or weapon, even before you have the right resources. Once you have filled out these requirements, you can tap this icon here and promote into God Rare. This icon here, this icon will come up on characters or weapons that are able to be promoted as well. So keep an eye out on this icon if you see it, so that will indicate this character is promotable for future content. Hmm. So this is a R uh, weapon, and what is a R uh, weapon? Well, it's a replica of its original weapon. For this video, I'll be talking about Cliff's weapon, as that's the first one we get for Global, different for JP. But I'll also show you some other examples here. It's on the screen real quick. And its main purpose to is to use the matching replica weapon to awaken the weapon once it's promoted into a 6 star. Think of it as a 6 star awakening orb, which you can pull from the getcha. So please, do not upgrade our weapons. Mm. Now, other thing to note, these 6 star awakening orbs can be brought in the future from the Stardust store, hopefully. Where do you get our weapons? Now, these replica weapons can be pulled from certain gacha banners in the future. Some gacha banners are mixed in with the original weapons and replica weapons. So it's possible to get different replica weapons and the original weapon to promote or awaken. Next. As you can see in this photo here, I promoted Lara's shield. It's either a six star awakening orb or one apple saver replica shield. Hmm. And for a limited time, you can exchange 1000 master eggs for a replica weapon. So getting them damn eggs aren't so bad anymore, eh? The good part is, for a limited time, once that weapon is promotable, you can exchange that original weapon for replica weapons. So now all your damn duplicates for some weapons aren't so bad anymore, eh? Unlike these ones, ooh. Yeah. It's alright, man. It's alright. Hang in there. Hang in there. So, let's talk about awakening a 6-star weapon. Once the weapon has been promoted into a 6-star, the weapon will reset to basic level, and you will get a new skill, and the recast level cap is level 20 now. Doing this cancels the requirement from the synergy board, as you are unable to evolve the weapon anymore. And awakening stage is reset down to zero. <laughs> mm. 
but you gain a higher attack power. All right. So, six star weapons can be upgraded to level 100. How do we do that? Well, each time you awaken the weapon, it will increase its level cap by 20. The basic level for a six star, as I said before, is level 20. So that means awakening once gets you to level 40. Twice, level 60. Three times, you get level 80. If you make if you max awaken it, you're able to get to level 100. Okay? Now, upgrading the weapon from level 1 to 100 can be pretty costly, alright? In this photo, my Bray has 1,707 tool power. And I'm getting a 128% on resources. But I need a total of 75 large marbles. And it costs me 3.6 million dosh. But I'm getting a pretty decent attack boost. Alright? So that's everything you need to know about re replica weapons and 6 star weapon awakening. Now let's talk about magic pages. Alright? Magic pages are a resource you use to promote weapons into six stars. You need a total of 30 magic pages. But in the future, we'll be able to exchange certain monster orbs for magic pages. Here is a list of magic pages exchanges I took from the Japanese version. Hmm. As you can see, you need a total of 20 monster orbs to exchange for 10 magic pages all brought from the premium store and some of these are only limited and won't return so keep our eye out for when these certain events come out and magic pages can also be attained from clearing a fall in the devil dom maze which is that future update i talked about next let's compare five star and six star weapons together for example, we'll be using Cliff's weapon, okay? Putting a weapon will buff the weapon's skill and passives, and sometimes even changing the weapon's passives. For example, let's compare Cliff's 5-star version and 6-star version together, both at max recast, alright? So, the Ice Wand at level 16 gives 204 magic attack. Well promoted, Ice Vitnir will have 495 magic damage. Alright, now let's check out the weapon's charge skill. So the Ice One's charge skill. Cliff's Ice One, Colxus, Charge Slash, Ice Inferno, launches a giant ice spear at the enemies, dealing increased damage to frozen enemies. Vitnir's charge skill, on the other hand. While the Stick Style version gets two new skills, first, it's Charge Slash will deal damage and reduce the target's attack speed by 20% for 30 seconds. Now, the recast ability is very unique. Think of it as like a fury skill, but for weapons and has a cooldown. Mm. All six star weapons have recast abilities and cooldowns are different for each one, while some re six star recast abilities are crazy such as Zero's recast ability. Mm. So, Ice Vitner's recast Sinna Bar reduces your charge time by 50%, and its cooldown is only 50 seconds. So this means you can pretty much have 50% reduced charge time all the time. That's pretty sweet. Next, let's move on over to special effects. So, Ice One's effects largely reduces the target's fr frozen resistance. And the second effect increases water damage dealt. Alright. Now, Ice Vitner's effect water attack plus 20, effect 2, reduces SP cost by dodging by 2, and effect 3, basic attack damage plus 30%. Very nice for him. Now, the modifier, so the Ice One effects, plus 15 water, and the Ice Vitner's effect is plus 30 water. And that's promotable weapons side by side. 
Now, remember, each weapon, once promoted, is different. So they won't all be the same, okay? Most of them do offer new abilities and such, okay? So, so character promotion requires different resources compared to weapons. First up, we have Mini Celestia Jades. Now, you may be familiar with these, as you need four of these to promote Eulia into a five-star. But for six-star character promotion... We need a total of 20 jades and two holy promotion metals. Just like weapon promotion, once promoted, the character will be reset and you will lose evolution level and awakening level. But we'll have imp improved attack power and sometimes new skills and passives. First, let's talk about where you can get jades and metals. So, Celestia Jades can be collected mainly from the future update, which is called the Devil Dom Maze, which replaces the Holy Tower, but can get from completing events or brought from the premium store. Next up, Holy Moon promotion medals can be exchanged at the dust store right now for 50k dust or brought from the premium store. And some events even give these as event completion rewards, so keep an eye out on them. Now, let's compare 5 star cliff to the 6 star version. Let's start off with cliff's battle fury, Ice Prism. So it seals the enemies in a large area in an ice cell before shattering them with huge impact. Well, Cliff's six star version, Silver World, freezes targets in a wide range in front of him and deals damage. Alright. Five star character charge one, Ice Purgatory. Wields the staff to release free ice blades to attack enemies in front. Chance to apply frozen. While his six star character charge, Ice Wolf's Mist. Hides and moves freely in the mist. Restore HP and the skill is activated. Okay. Five star character charge two. Ice Paradise. Wields the staff to release a freezing gale to attack enemies in front. Chance to apply frozen. Or the six star character charge two. Diamond Stardust deals damage to enemies and chance to apply frozen. Okay, so next we have character passives. Now, five star cliffs passives, skill one, um, increases the amount of SP auto recovery. While well, these passive two slightly increases all team members' damage to frozen enemy. Now, we have the six star version of cliff. This is where it gets interesting. So, 6 star characters only start with 2 passives, sometimes being new passives, but to unlock the other 4 passives, you need to awaken the character to unlock more passives, just like how you need to awaken the weapon to increase the level cap. Awakening a character still increases the character's level by 20 per awakening, but it also now unlocks more powerful passives okay so if you awaken six star cliff once you unlock the ice wolf magician's passive water attack plus 20. If you awaken twice you get the ice wolf twister all team members damage to frozen targets is increased by 20 percent three times fury damage plus 25 percent and max awakening the six star character will get you attack speed plus 30%. This is pretty good for Cliff as he does a lot of basic attacks, remember? And that's pretty much how character awakening works. So keep an eye out on which passes will increase your DPS output the most. Hmm. You made it to the end of this video? Whew. That was a lot of information, and I hope this video helps in any way. And I pray that you don't go awakening any more replica weapons, alright?
No, no, no. Not on this bread. Mm, no. If you did like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Alright? Thank you for watching again. This is Goose. John Line there. Goose out. Quack! Ah!